Thank you very much, Adrian. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. We've got a lot of good music for you. Playing your favorites, old and new. The song that brought in the morning, good morning from all of the crew. Here he is, it's me. Simon Mayo. It's all very well, Adrian John, talking about not putting on any clothes on in the morning, but the whole nation is going to get arrested going to a good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm actually very good at that time of the morning, so that when I wake up at five o'clock, like the first few minutes are, oh, you know, I really want to go back to sleep. But then, a cup of coffee or something, and I'm okay. Uh, and then in to the studio by quarter to six, go through all the papers, uh, sort out if there's anything of amusement in there to, to ramble through. Uh, I have to work out what I'm going to say in the next link. I mean, a lot of people think you have scripts, but you don't. Uh, you, you work out roughly what you're going to say and then you just let it happen and, and see what comes out. Uh, there are trailers to play for other programs. There's the weather jingle and the traffic jingle and the stupid Simon Mayo jingles that we've got. So it's quite a, a joy if you have a five-minute record. Never mind what it sounds like. It gives you five minutes just to sort yourself out, read the weather, read this, that and the other and get yourself prepared for the next link. So uh, it's more, it's, it's two and a half hours of non-stop work, really. Hey! <laughs> The M1 in Buckinghamshire, always bad, but particularly bad this morning because the contraflow... There's a very real uh, element of it happens the second it does happen. You know, the travel news comes in, we do it. The weather happens, we do it. Uh, so it's, it can't really be prepared. <laughs> Simon Mayo, good morning, Radio 1. 708. And we say good morning to Rod McKenzie with the headlines. Morning, Rod. Good morning, Simon. In about uh, 40... One of Radio One's most important jobs in the morning, of course, is to bring us up to date with the overnight news. Not all of it very serious. Weapons. And a farmer in Toulouse in southern France has found a three-legged duck amongst an otherwise normal brood yes, on his duck pond. Yes, of course he has, yes. The details are that the proud owner says the third leg is the same size as the other two, and what's more, the creature can both swim and walk normally. Do you make these up? Certainly not. It's all true, and you know it. Oh, dear. Full details at 7.30, and this is just a great record. Good morning. The Breakfast Show is different to almost any other programme, other than perhaps Adrian's early show, because you know what almost everybody is doing. You know that you are waking people up. 